Joey player with Sphere, though, I'm gonna say the thing that should have been said five years ago when this game came out. It should have been said all them years ago when this game came out. Uh, we were silent about it and it wasn't right. We should have said something. We should have defended Joey's honor. So Joey has, you know, suffered really from day one. Joey has really suffered from her inception into Street Fighter V. It's not really right now that I think about it. And a few losses later, many, many, many losses later, I've just been like, right, this isn't right. This is not fair. Like, so, let me just jump into it. She lost two great moves and an ultra which was pretty good as well now a current uh, I mean um, we'll call them uh, I think they're called best I can't even remember but her ultra equivalent in Street Fighter 5 is good I mean I've ended a lot of matches with a big blast of heat behind me um, as a result of ending with ultra the super combo whatever it's called still I would have preferred her Street Fighter 4 Ultra which was way more stylish way more cooler all type of variants you know uh, I, I mean projectiles are good they can be good as ultras but um, it was just something about her Street Fighter 4 Ultra was which was amazing to watch and obviously her Ultra 1 became her V-Trigger um, but the loss of Ultra 2 or anything was anything close to this Super Combo was uh, sucked it really sucked and you know we got this which kind of is like a, to be honest it's pretty lazy like there's a lot more work that goes in to her ultra in Street Fighter 4 than one uh, than Street Fighter 5 really but um, it's not surprising with the treatment of this character because again and I don't know if it's lazy or something like that maybe they just thought they want you know she was becoming a bit o OP but that's not something that seems to be a problem anymore also with like new moves We've seen a lot of characters gain new moves over the years in Street Fighter 5. So for her to simply just have moves that were already in her arsenal. I'm still, I didn't even mention this, I'm still prolonging the fact that a complaint is needed for this. Um, even though this game is more or less out the door. So it is very late, but better late than never, as they say, as the wise man says. So with that said, her dash counter, whose name escapes me, and her dive kick, Shikazen. Why on earth were both of those moves removed from her arsenal? Like, as somebody's been underperforming in this game, like, obviously, I mean, I don't just chalk it down to these things. There's inadequacies on my end as well. But what irritates me is when I see a character, you know, utilizing moves that I used to use myself. Like, Ryu never had a parry or counter type move ever. Except for Street Fighter 3 where everybody had a parry, but like he never had a counter. He never had a counter strike or anything like that. Um yeah, but from Jury's day one she did. She had dash counters. She had one that would send her backwards, one that would send her forwards, and one that would send her upwards. And another which uh upward uh movement could be manipulated. Uh at the cost of one bar gauge which was cool that's just who she was and that's what she had and that was cool you know she wasn't OP she wasn't top tier she was never considered a top tier as a result you know I I you know I prided myself about not using top tier characters actually uh, back then 
I yeah, this is one of the reasons why I picked it up and Vega as well. But I think Vega now is a lot more higher t- higher than he was before. Um, in fact, that Vega as well is now not a charge character. It just sort of put me off him, and I just said, oh, I'll just stick with Jory because she still seems quite difficult to use. But like you know, but Jory's still like a lot of fun, and I don't mind this and this version is definitely inferior to her 4 version even though she's got more moves but the moves that she lost were invaluable like Shikazana is an amazing move for instance like it's a fast dive kick it does have some recovery when she hits the ground but not too much and if you you know hit it at the right point you will be relatively safe on landing but on here it was great <clears throat> and it had a wall bounce on EX that you know you could that you could use to follow up with whatever move. Uh, it, these were great moves and they were removed from day one. That's not fair. Her whole system absolutely changed. And part of it's like, well, I guess that's kinda cool, but like, no, like you didn't have that with like any other character. Like why? Why did they do that? Like in hindsight, like everything about her is like in a way. Like her four version was amazing. Not that I think about it. To compare her four version to her five version, it's no competition. The five version is so difficult. But am I saying that I want to return to that? I want to ultimately return to how she used to play in the sense of having three degrees of projectiles that she could shoot from her leg. No, that would be too much, you know? Like, what is done is done. But I think what they could easily do is implement their two moves that had gone. And I would rather them not do them. And I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if they were to introduce a uh, B skill three or something or trigger. Um, um, I would prefer them not to do it like that. I would just prefer them to just be moves that were already available in their command list. Bring them back like they like heavily needed. It just isn't right, and <laughs> I just don't know why I never said anything. No, well, well for one, I wasn't really taking YouTube seriously. I haven't really been like a network or anything like that, but. Now I am, and now I have a bit of a platform. I'm gonna use it for this. I'm gonna use it for this reason. I'm gonna use it to say to the devs, bring back Joey's dash counters and bring back her dive kick. Uh, this is so late, you know, it was so, so late, but because six is around the corner, you know, but let's see what happens, you know. Um, if anything, I just get I just get to blow off a little bit of steam and that like so and you know all those jewelry players will surely be applauded as well hopefully um, surely you must feel you must feel the same way the more the barrier right nobody you obviously didn't hate held moves so yeah if she ever got her moves back it would just make her a little bit more solid uh, a little bit more fairer you know because like. Just, yeah, it's just not really fair that like some characters that just never had certain types of moves ever, and now they do have that. Like, why do that? Like, like it just, it just isn't right, you know. Like, if you just kept everyone just relative to everyone the same, then it'd be fine. But it, you know, the, the characters that just grow with it, you know, it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. That like, you know, especially with a V triggered to like which I do use because again I like to make things harder for myself but yeah it's, it's rubbish you know like it's really rubbish and yeah she's just due like a bit of a boost in that way and I think even if the re-emergence of these two moves would not really it, I don't think we could push it to high tier or anything like that but yeah but she'd be solid mid to high tier with those moves but what do you guys think do you think that it's too little, too late. Uh, do you even care anymore? That way, like, because you know, as I say, Street Fighter Six is definitely around the corner. Five's out the door too. And I say that, but you still got like Kira and Oro to go, and plus the secret character. So I, there could be like another year of, of this to 
to go. So it's still a lot of game to be played. So actually, thinking about it like that, maybe there is reason to voice your opinion. And but obviously you don't care about this character and you don't give a crap about what I'm saying. But like, if you do, or you just genuinely like Jory, then you find it a lot of fun to play. That's the selling point of Jory, she's just so much fun to play. Then, yeah, let's get her moves back. Let her reclaim her glory, her former glory. And yeah, just restore this great character. She's brilliant, she's a lot of fun. I have dropped her. For the years I've been playing, I wanted to so much because I was just losing just constantly. But I've just refused because she's fun. She's a lot of fun. So yeah, Capcom dash counter, dive kick, get back right now. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you very much for listening. I hope Jory gets restored. But um, again, we'll see how it goes in that way because he's just up for it. It really is some feels that it happened, but it, but hey, whatever. Um, King of Fighters 15, so you know, literally whatever. If nothing does happen, but if it does, uh, thank you very much. Uh, and also, thank you to you for listening. And like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Cheers.